Time is all my special guest of One Direction. Feel free to roar if you want. Um, oh. Hey Zane. Hello. Hello Louis. Hello. Hey Liam. What's up? Hello Niall. Hello. <laughs> and Harry, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Can we talk about your premiere? Please. How bloody insane. Um, Niall, like, I have no <coughs> idea how you lot do this. Oh, it was an unbelievable night, one that we definitely won't forget. It was incredible that our fans have turned it on again and filled up Leicester Square and just made this movie happen in the first place, but it was a great night. Louis, I spoke to fans that had travelled all the way from Australia and Brazil, and these were the fans that weren't even in the 200 that got in. And they were still happy, and their mums and dads were with them. Um, do you ever get used to stuff like that? No, I mean, it's, it's amazing to think that someone would travel all the way from Australia to come to the movie premiere just to be there, not even to... Yeah, just to be in and around it. Simon Cowell was there yesterday. He was, he um, was. He's got very little arms. I hadn't yeah. noticed this. To, to sit they're like, right, they're, they're like <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um, he said it was like a dream and he was like the proud dad. Was it nice having him there? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. Um, I think it's, it's always nice to see him and uh, it was nice for him to come and show some support. Obviously, he was a producer on the film, so... Uh, I think that was why he was there. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. a lot of your friends turned up as yeah, well. Nice. Jayless were there. Um, who else? McFly. Um, mm -hmm. Connor Maynard. Yeah, I didn't get to see Connor. I didn't see Connor, but, but I did see Reece and he was buzzing about it. Bless him. And little Mick. They were all there, and they were all like, "Oh, we're so happy! Like we're so proud of them." Is that nice, saying? It was really nice. Uh, yesterday yeah. we had our f uh, families down as well, so our mums and our sisters and stuff were there as well. So that was cool. It was really nice. You were being interviewed, and your mum and your sister were in my eye line, and they were trying to get your attention. <laughs> and your sister was like. Oh my god, look how cute he looks. Um, did they enjoy it? Was it nice for them? Um, yeah, I asked them when I got home afterwards. I said they had fun and that it was good and stuff. So yeah, I think they had fun. Individually, I'm going to start over here, Harry. Yes. Best thing and the worst thing about doing this film? Best thing is... Uh, yesterday, for me, was the best thing. Premiere? Yeah, I'd uh, just do premieres. Yeah, just do premieres on them, they're yeah. great. Yeah, and is there anything, Liam, that you didn't enjoy? Um, not that I didn't enjoy it, but I just the bit where my dad says what he says just proper gets me. I noticed yesterday as well, he's got such a long dramatic pause before he finishes his sentence, and I was trying so hard not to cry, but in the end... It oh, with the snooker thing? Yeah, yeah when he just he good he does the pause. Mate, I'm crap at snooker. Any good at going to the pub? Uh, no. Well, I'm good at both of them, so you can come with me. Okay. I thought it was really sweet when he said that he missed you not being around the house. It was quite nice. Yeah, bless oh, him. Oh, bless him. Oh, come on. Louis? Um, I don't know about best moment, but for me, the best thing I think we'll take from the film is the fact that we'll be able to like watch it when we're like 70 years old. Yeah. I think that'll be that cool. That's gonna be sick. And guys, you've got some celebrity <laughs> friends, right? How do you know the fake ones from the genuine ones? <laughs> Let's go with you, Harry, because you've got a lot of celebrity friends, right? Uh, I think you can just tell. How? Okay. So, I think just <laughs> tell anyone, if you meet anyone who's really fake, it's mm -hmm. so transparent that it's just easy to tell. Yeah. So yeah, you know, yeah, like straight away, that if I was, that. like tomorrow I lost my job and I was Harry who works in Marks and Spencers, these yeah. same people would want to talk to me. Yeah. 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 If they're good, if that's, yeah, if they're true. Yeah, and all of you, because um, I know, Noel, you've got quite a few, like Connor and Talisa always speak really highly of you, and uh, I think Rochelle and Marvin want to adopt you. Yeah, they, like, have, they have done. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is it like having friends that are in the industry as well? Do they give you advice? Do you talk to them about stuff? I would just hang out, like, as I said, like, like any normal people, it's just, it's nice to have friends that live nearby me, I guess. Right, okay, we wanted to know a little bit, friends, we friends. wanted to know a little bit more about you guys. No, um, local friends. Who Music makes the friends. best cup of tea? Louis. Definitely me. Uh, Louis, Is yeah. it you? Yeah. yeah. Okay, who tea. gives the best relationship advice? Tomo, as well, I think. Yeah, mm, yeah I go with Really, it. you're good at that? Okay, and who's the best person to borrow money off? Like, who's always got money in their back pocket? <laughs> That's definitely not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and no, I never seem to have Although, to be fair, actually, actually, no, I actually do normally carry money with me, and I do normally. Like, we sort, you know what I mean? We'll sort people out, like, if we do have wallets, but I never sort, seem yeah. to really have it. Harry, Ed, yes. Jordan from Bizzle Kicks, and Rach32 have all told Rich me yeah, that you are a G. Thank you. They describe you as a gangster. a gangster. Let me explain gangster. why. Yeah, Let me well, that, explain me, why. They, they, reckon, gangster, so. they reckon any girl, if she's in a room with you for longer than 30 minutes, you've got her. Now, Does that include you? It, they reckon me too. Wow. And Rachel actually said to me, yeah, I know what you're going to say, well. Max, but you don't know Harry's got danger in his eye. <laughs> How does it feel that all these like, male artists look at, look at you like... We are not worthy. Like yeah, we need to. T we need to learn from him. Um, I feel pretty gangster now. <laughs> yeah. 
I think I'm pretty <laughs> he obviously was How was it growing up? Must be kept out of someone else. Uh, Hans yeah. Chappell's tough, mate, you get sliced. Yeah. So the thug life didn't choose you, though. Yeah. Alright, but you guys, really seriously, they, everyone sees him as a Lothario that can get any chick he wants. You know him quite well. Is this true? I feel like I've been pigeonholed. Let's, I've, let's, yeah, let's talk to them. I like to do. You know, I like, you know... Clay pigeon shit. <laughs> generous guy. <laughs> Zay, have you seen, like, when he's out, does he have this Lothario thing about him? Um, I don't really go out too much Sorry. myself. I kind of just chill at home, so I don't really get to so see what that. Are Ed, I Reg, to... and Rizzle Kicks talking about? They've been listening to the papers. They must have been talking about me. They've been listening to the papers. He's an undercover G, obviously. He's been chilling with the G. Yeah. yeah. We don't get to We're not worthy. Out. We're not worthy oh, of being G. You guys. All right, we're going to squeeze in some fan questions. Same question for you. Um, Jasmine says, when Little Mix were on Max's show, they all said that you would be the first to pop the question, and they did say this. And we hear that you have, so congratulations. Thank you very much. And we have a little present for you from Capital. And I can't get off my chair. Can somebody bring that, please? I can't get off this seat. I'm glued down. Oh, that's ace. Yeah, because we want to say congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Voila. day for me. I don't know if they're your first flowers. Are they? Like, say yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're my first flowers. <laughs> hey! <an> intricate discussion, <laughs> confirmation. <laughs> no, somebody's already confirmed, actually. I think it may have been um, Perry's mum who did an interview somewhere on a radio station. Um, how does it feel to be engaged? <laughs> like, how do you feel? That is, uh, yeah. that is so <laughs> funny. It's cool. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. But you're happy and all your fans are, like, saying congratulations Yeah, yeah, to we're really happy. Uh, yeah? Yeah, it's cool. 